British adventurer Laura Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine Tomb Raider as in a series in an in order to escape its colonial past. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at that. So one of the things that they're saying here. Uh, raiding, as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites from different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. Uh, it operates under the assumption of finders keepers and that grants raiders with the means and drive to claim ownership of the artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Well, that's true. It belongs in a museum, yeah. Well, it belongs in a British museum. <laughs> and this is exactly what we did. Yeah, we did. How do you think all this stuff got into the British museums? <laughs> well, we went over to other places, we killed all the people there, and we took their stuff. Like, that's how it happened. And so, if this is gonna upset you, maybe just don't play a Tomb Raider game. And if, if you're gonna get that upset about it, it's- Wait, what do you think that the game is gonna- is gonna make this okay? Like, the Vatican also? Oh, especially the Vatican. The Vatican even more, probably. Because they had the moral authority. Fuck. Later games released in this franchise have started to work in addressing this by having Laura Croft uh, acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes in contact with. Bro, I cannot express how unexcited this makes me for the game. Like, this is the most pathetic fucking stupid shit I've ever seen. Oh my god. Like, how is it that you can have games with, like, war and, like, people killing each other, but you're worried about, like, this game, like, reinforcing colonialism? What the fuck you- t it's a fucking video game. If you don't want to make a game, here's the thing. I hate whenever people take an old game and they say the premise of this game is wrong, so instead of letting it stay in the past, we're going to exhume this game's corpse from like a 20 year nostalgia sleep in order to turn it into something else. If you want to make a game where there's some girl that's going around and uh, wh what is she doing again? Seeking truth, then go make another game. But if you're gonna make a Tomb Raider game, then it should be based off of the premise of Tomb Raider. It shouldn't be based off of a totally different premise because you find the old premise to be politically inconvenient. Just stop making games like that then. Like, I, it's, it's crazy to me. What is this? The irony, yes. You're taking an old IP, you're changing it because of your opinions. Uh, she's also worked to reform Raider culture and increase the awareness of her peers. Bro, this isn't like, this, what is, what the, like, who is this for? What is this? Is for, for like, like weirdos with like some sort of like fucking internalized guilt? Raider culture? Laura no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a raider, she prioritizes seeking out the truth. Holy fuck. I cannot imagine how little I am excited. For yeah, nobody asked for this. Who fucking cares? I hope this game fails. I do. I hope it fails as an indication that please stop trying to inject your moral judgments on video games that don't have them in it to begin with. If you want to bring this up in a Metal Gear Solid game, I think this would be a great topic and it'd be really interesting. But Tomb Raider was never built around this. It was just built around running around, the girl being really hot, and shooting things. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you changing this? Just make another game. Don't steal the IP and then co-opt it to push your fucking agenda. It's so... Oh my god. What is this? They're changing the name to Truth Seeker now, right? No, because they want to keep the... They want to make the money off of Tomb Raider. And it's like, again, and this is like, this is what I think the funniest fucking thing about it is. Is that this is the epitome of, um, you know, in my opinion, I'll say it because I'm, I'm part of it. Uh, it is white guilt, woke, like, slacktivism. These people have no problem capitalizing on Tomb Raider, which, by extension, capitalizes on- the, this is through their own logic. So they have no problem capitalizing on Tomb Raider, which capitalizes on colonialism. So, if you're too afraid to make a new game, and you have to capitalize on a game that capitalizes on colonialism, you're still doing it. This is like all the people that talk about, oh, well, we're living on stolen land. Well, then give it back. 
Give it back. If that's the way you feel about it, give it back. Th get, get out, go back to fucking, uh, you know, the Netherlands or Germany or wherever the fuck your family came from 300 years ago and get the fuck out. Because I am so sick of this shit. It is exhausting for me to hear this. And this is, again, these are people who are not willing to make a new game that tries to, like, I guess, create a new direction of the genre to go in. They want to co-opt the money that the old game will make them, while at the same time capitalizing on the same exact thing that they're trying to avoid and they're trying to preach against. It's so fucking hypocritical. And it's astonishing, and this is, I, I'm so, these are the people who change their flag to the current thing. They change it, you know, like, for example, well, they'll change, like, they'll change it to the pride flag or to the transgender flag. But if they run an account that's in the Middle East, they don't change it to that because they don't want to lose money. Because they don't really care about any of these issues. They just care about being seen as a person who cares about these issues. It's pathetic. I'm so tired of these people. They're infesting everything, and they're doing it for their own ego because they're... They're embarrassed to be who they are. They live their whole life in shame and guilt, and they want everybody else to carry the same cross. What's going on? How is this? How did the inmates take over the asylum? It's crazy. Just make a new game. What are you, cancer? It is. It's so bad. Oh my god. They've literally never played a Tomb Raider game. I mean, I don't really give a fuck about Tomb Raider games either, but I think that they should be authentic to what the game used to be. People's feelings are more important than objective scientific truths. People's feelings are more important. Again, these are people who have no problem. They have no problem making money off of things that, you know, they would criticize a million times. But as soon as they, uh, as soon as they start you know, doing their own thing, they do the exact thing that they criticize because they don't really care about any of this stuff. All they're looking for is a way that, to make themselves seem virtuous and good. On the internet and in culture nowadays, it's more important to look good than to be good. So nobody cares about the actual actions a person takes. They only care about what the optics of those actions are. And that the reason why that happens is because there are a lot more people that are lazy and stupid and selfish than people that are selfless and useful and motivated to try to do a good thing. So what all of the lazy, stupid and selfish people do is they collectively create a culture that is built around self-aggrandizement of doing nothing and then taking pride in it while simultaneously benefiting from the thing that you say that you hate. It's, it's so pathetic. It is so fucking pathetic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. You talking about other streamers right now? <laughs> you could be, and I'd agree with you. Make a different game and not keep the Tomb Raider. Yeah, exactly. It's just so embarrassing. Now let's read some of the comments. No one asked for this. May I inquire if this is official language or not? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, colonial past. Oh, the cringe. Exactly. And, uh, it sounds like it, it's ready for its own tomb. Yeah, there you fucking go. Like, like, for me, I would never buy a game if I felt like it was doing this. And I really wish that more people would do the same thing. Stop buying games that are trying to retcon the, the quality and the content of the game just for their own, uh, ego. It's so sad. Uh, DEI creates another DOA game. I think it's just morons, man. I'm gonna be honest, it's just morons. Why make Lara Croft Tomb Raider if they don't want it to raid tombs? Oh, you know, because the IP makes money, so just let the cash in. Yeah, exactly. Well, we, we, we hate colonialism, but we don't hate it that much, okay? You know, like, that's it. And, uh, it was about colonialism. People hate civilization and reading so much the concept is offensive to them. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, people have done a lot of bad things in the name of colonialism, but a lot of the people that they did the bad things to were also bad. I mean, it's it's like, for example, the conquistadors are horrible people. They're terrible guys. Like, you have to think about how bad these guys were. It's like you had to go, like, everybody collectively in their countries put together what would be now the equivalent of hundreds of millions of dollars to get a few of these guys to just leave. We will pay you a hundred million dollars. Get the fuck out of here.
Like, go somewhere, to go on the other side of the world and stay there. Go there, and that's it. And so these guys were terrible. They were the worst people ever. But they go to fucking South America, and you've got Mayans that are carving out the hearts of virgins, rolling the corpse down the stairs. It's not like, really, it's not like everybody was just holding hands and being peaceful before they got there. It was a terrible place. It was awful. And I the Aztecs, well, they all did this. Yes, they all did this. Mayans didn't do that. Excuse me. The Aztecs did that. Yeah. There you go. And uh, people in South America, fucking peace paradise before the Spaniards. Yeah, like, what are we talking about here? It's just so crazy. I don't even know what to say. Weren't some of the tribes just straight up cannibals? No, of course people eat each other. People have been doing that forever. Of course some of them were cannibals. Yeah, I mean, the, the people in, there's people in Haiti that are doing it now. Like, it, it's really not that big of a deal. It's, it, like, is it really that much of a shock that people would eat each other? Fuck, of course they would. The worst thing is that any of these people legit believe this shit and it's not just a signal. Well, the reason why they believe this shit is because they're surrounded by other people that are equally as stupid as they are. So it's very easy and also equally stupid and, uh, you know, like, basically looking for... They're, they're looking for approval. That's it. In a game named Tomb Raider, you'll no longer be raiding tombs. What's next? Grand Theft Auto, where the goal is to respect traffic laws. Everybody called me a madman whenever I said that I thought it was really cringe that the him at, went, the him at nesting were requests in WoW turned into him trying to uh, conserve the environment. I remember him at nesting where he used to be in Stranglethorn Vale. He used to have a gun with four of his other friends, and they said, I need you to make a book and kill ten tigers. And then you're like, why do you want to kill ten tigers? Because that's what I'm writing my book about. I'm writing it about killing animals. So why don't you go ahead and go kill them and see, see how it is. And then you finish that, and they're like, well, I got, guess, just a crazy thing, there's, there's another set of tigers, I want you to kill ten more of them. And then after that, like, there's these really big tigers, let's kill those. And it's like, oh, I found this really big tiger? Why don't we kill that one too, because fuck them. What's this? Conflating natives also doing bad things with Europeans genociding tens of millions of people? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, then it's all bad. Yeah, it's all bad. All I'm saying is that it's not like these cultures were anything like a, uh... These were not great cultures. Like, I, I, I'm not of the mindset, and I'm sorry, this might upset some people. I am not of the mindset that, you know, this uh, cultural, um, uh, well, what's the word is, uh, cultural relativity? Uh, no. No, there are clearly bad cultures. There are bad cultures with bad ideas. And there are many cultures that it is so good, and it is such a good thing, that nowadays, they pretty much no longer exist. Thank God. Thank God. It was a hard one fight. Yep. How do you think developers can strike a balance between monetization player satisfaction? Well, number one is not doing shit like this, man. Yeah, British Museum keeps stolen goods and made a living out of it? Yep, well, that's what happens. They got them. <laughs> like, there it is. Too bad. Like, yeah, what, 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 that's exactly what happened. You often say, I'm sorry if this offends some people, but if you are, are you actually sorry? Um, when was the last time I was actually sorry? I don't know, it's probably a long time ago. And what happens whenever they get given back, they end up private questions or smashed? Well, why would they give them back? I mean, they already have them. So yeah, I mean, Tomb Raider is being ruined by slacktivists that have no problem profiting from colonialism, but they also want to virtue signal that it's bad. Uh, thank God for that. This is exactly what everybody's needed, and I'm sure this was done by a bunch of people that, uh, you know, changed their fl their name to a flag whenever something bad in the world happens. And maybe they donate $20 to a charity. Uh, it's pathetic, and I'm just so tired of it. I think everybody is, let's be honest.